Hey everyone, I'm Kellen from CI Inventions and I got my 3D printer to start working again, which is awesome because I'm printing a bunch of stuff to help my friend with his Eagle project, but I'll be making another video on that in the next few days, soon enough explaining more what I'm doing and how you guys can help out, not with the Eagle project, but just in your community. Anyway, that's for the next video. For today, I just wanted to talk about why my printer was broken for like three weeks and why I only had a few prints to show in my best prints of the month video. If you want to go check that video out, you can click here. Uh, and it's because of these things. Now, um, what are they? These little silver things, these little metal screw pieces, these are called couplers, couplings, same thing. I'm gonna stick, if I say coupling or coupler, I, I mean these things, the same thing. So basically what these do is they allow you to push your tube in and out, but it also whenever you're not trying to slide your tube in and out, because of course you're not trying to take it out most of the time while you're printing, uh, it locks it in place, which is perfect. That's exactly what they need to do, and it's great for when they do that. It's very simple, easy design. They're supposed to slide up and down, nice and easy. But um, these these didn't really work. And Creality, as great as their machines usually are, make horrible couplings for their machines. And let's just go over it a little bit more. Now, I know I'm not the first person to say that the couplings on the Inders 3 Pro are absolutely terrible. I actually heard it from other people, didn't really believe it, and then my printer broke and I replaced the couplers and yeah, these, these, these two metal pieces, they suck. I hate them. They're awful. Uh, and let's, let's just go over why they're, they're really bad. So to start things off, it doesn't slide. You know how I said you're supposed to easily be able to slide the tube in and out of this coupler? You can't. This one's broken. Now, obviously that's just because it's broken. I had it. This is the one that came with my printer and for about two months of just printing, uh, it was there, but um, it broke and it caused me a lot of problems. You can see on my Bowden tube that there's actually like pieces where it was, we we're trying to like screw it off, but it wouldn't come off at all. So that was, that was an issue. And I could only pull the, t no, I could only push the tube. I couldn't pull it back, which is a huge problem. And I was trying to fix it, trying to fix my printer, trying to get a good seal between the end of the Bowden tube and my nozzle. I just wanted to print stuff. I've been printing stuff for the past month or so. It was doing really well. I wasn't having any issues until I had that filament leak, which I actually discovered in this tutorial up in the corner. If you want to go watch my how to fix nozzle clock tutorial, I'll leave a link here. I found a filament leak, so I investigated further, and it's mostly because the Bowden tube, this thingy, and the nozzle don't have a good seal. Whenever you're pushing your filament through, usually it's just supposed to go straight from the Bowden tube, squeeze into the nozzle, and print out, you know, just like, a printer. That's how it's supposed to function. Well, the end of this, the end of the Bowden tube, and the end of the nozzle did not have a good seal and there was a gap. So what would happen is it would leak out on top of the silver box right above the nozzle. It also would expand and jam up and then I'd have to like force it out and it would get stuck all the time and it was really frustrating. And thank God I figured out what the root of all that problem was. It was these silver bad boys known as couplers. These suck. The ones that come with Creality, they suck. Why? Because they break too fast. They, these only lasted like two months and they were broken. This hardware here, especially if you're new to 3D printing, you wouldn't guess that that would be the problem without some digging, which is how I figured out that these guys were the big issue. So basically what's supposed to happen, actually, you know what, just a second, let me get a working one. Okay, so I got my bag of couplers from downstairs and basically there's two different kinds. Let me, let me pull each kind out real fast. So there's these two kinds of couplers. This one goes next to the I don't know why I can't think of it, but it's it's the little gear that pushes your filament. This one goes right next to it, connects one end of the Bowden tube. This one goes closer to your nozzle and is at the end of your Bowden tube. So I'm going to hold it up to the micro fast, and you're going to hear this clicking noise. That means the spring is loaded and works properly. So basically, whenever you push down on this little rubber, it looks like a washer, it, the little rubber piece, it makes a clicking noise and lets you pull the tube out. Whenever you let go, you cannot pull it out or push it. It's stuck. It's locked in place. That's what it's supposed to do. Same thing with this one. You can't hear a click on this one. It's not nearly as loud, but it also does that. With these couplers, it didn't do that at all. Basically what will happen is even if I push it in, I can move it that way, right? But I, I can't I can't pull it out like, it, like I'm supposed to be able to. Basically the spring or something got dislodged, uh, it, it's broken and it shouldn't have. I didn't really mess with it at all. All I ever did was maybe pull out the tube to like check something. This thing should not break all of a sudden, and it did. And basically what would happen is 
even though it like doesn't let me pull on it over time it, the tube because the filaments coming through will get pushed up because this thing does not have a good grip so basically this was causing all my filament leaks and this one also isn't really the, the nicest it's not as big a problem as this one but this coupler yeah it, it's just annoying it kind of fell off too easily it happened once and it was, it was weird it just like popped out the, the Bowden tube just popped out of the coupler and as I said, it's not supposed to do that. So the moral of this story, um, I recommend buying replacement couplers because the ones that you get with the Ender 3 Pro are not good. Do not use those. They're, they're just bad. They, they break down too easily. Now, I guess when you first get the printer, you can keep them on for a while, but after a few weeks, I would recommend buying some, uh, some new ones, like this bag that I bought. I have five of each kind. I have five of the big one and five of the skinny one. They're pretty easy to buy, they're really cheap. You can get a bunch of them. Now yes, the ones in that bag are Creality brand because I just wanted to get an exact replacement. The only reason that I bought more Creality brand one is because I got 10 of them in a bag. So even if they break, I can just I have replacements. In the future though, I'm going to get ones that are not Creality that are actually good. So basically, if your couplers break or you're having filament leak problems, or you're getting jams a lot, Please, go replace your couplers. I'm sure there's some really good ones on Amazon. I don't know exactly which ones they are, but I'm sure you can find some better ones. Just don't purchase more Creality ones. Creality, your machines are great. I love my 3D printer, but um, you guys need to up your game with the couplings. They, they suck. I hate them. And they broke my machine for three weeks. So, basically, buy new cu couplings. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I figured it was important for people to know that might be why their machine is jamming or not working. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll have a new video coming out in a few days about some things you can help to print to help your community uh, amongst all of this uh, crazy corona stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Callum from CR Inventions and I will see you in the next video.